Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it is my absolute pleasure to welcome you all here today to celebrate with Matt and Caitlin as they commit to each other as husband and wife. A wedding is one of those rare occasions where we get to celebrate relationships, not just for the bride and groom, but for all those who are most important to us. Everyone here today has played a unique and important role in Matt and Caitlin's lives, and they are very grateful to have you here to celebrate with them today. It's a time where couples reflect on where they have been, what they have achieved together, and of course, their hopes for the future. It's really fantastic to see you all here today. We've been driving to this location for a couple of years now. <laughs> you know. and as you can probably see, that it's been a bit emotional day for me as well, and um, and probably for everybody. Yeah, but it's just so lovely to see everybody here together and see these two get married. It's been wonderful. Your presence means so much to us, especially to Caitlin and Matt, who wanted you to be part of their beautiful day. I like to think we are surrounding them with a the circle of love, which I think we are. For Matt and Caitlin, it all began back in 2011, during a meeting on the train from Penrith to Manly for an Australia Day celebration. <laughs> Matt remembers Caitlin in her leopard bikini, oversized sunglasses and being the most popular girl around. He remembers feeling stoked to hang out with her. And I think it's fair to say Matt fell first, especially as Caitlin was more interested in one of Matt's friends at the time. <laughs> Twenty-first of September, two thousand and ten. Let's set the scene. Are you fucking serious? I'm as <laughs> I'm as serious as a heart attack, son. Hey, I just noticed you and my friends. Not sure if we've ever met before. Ha, huh, X. Caitlin must have thought she was the luckiest girl in the world to get the attention of this stud. <laughs> Little did she know she was just the only one that replied. <laughs> <laughs> Hook, line and sinker, he gotcha. Yeah. But when it ended for Caitlin and the other boy, it was Matt who consoled Caitlin. She remembers that Matt genuinely cared how, her, how heartbroken she was. He was thoughtful and charming and seemed to have an answer for everything. Soon after, Matt took Caitlin for a walk around a lake and asked her to be his girlfriend. Matthew. <laughs> Matt has been in my life for so long, I actually cannot for the life of me remember ever meeting him. <laughs> I cannot remember the introduction. I can't remember him ever saying, hi, I'm Matt. It's like one day I literally woke up and suddenly had this ridiculous, annoying, hilarious older brother that I actually didn't really want. <laughs> but I absolutely loved it. One thing they both remember very clearly from those early encounters was the realization that they had each found someone very special. Over the past 10 and a half years, through all these fun times and adventures and all the memories they have made, Caitlin and Matt have formed a beautiful respect for each other and a loving and caring partnership.
staying in an Airbnb and they've got all these, these chickens there, like they were, oh, yeah. yeah, and they're like, they're real tame, they're like, yeah, strange, you're like, there's a tiny little um, chicken coop, mm. and they're like, just let them out if you want, they go in the reserve, they just come back. Ha, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, fuck. We are so thankful and so grateful for every person in this room. It has been very, very hard. You're so good. <laughs> hey, hey, it's happy Jane. I know, yeah. It has been a very hard two and a half years and I'm just so grateful to be sitting here and sitting here with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> More than anything, I am just so thankful for what everyone has done to be here tonight. People have traveled such a long way. People have postponed other plans. People have done everything to be here. And we are very indebted to you for a long time um, for what you have done. Um, It was on that trip to New Zealand in 2019 that Matt organised a private helicopter ride to Cecil Peak. There, standing 2,000 metres above sea level, soaring over Lake Wakatipu, and very much to Caitlin's surprise, Matt dropped to one knee and proposed. Apparently there had been at least three other special occasions over the years when Caitlin had suspicions of a proposal and yet nothing had come. So this was a complete shock. But finally Matt did ask and thankfully Caitlin said yes. Oh, pretty cool to stand here you know and, and call Caitlin my wife finally because it's um it's been a long time long time coming but it's really special it's god it's special and um please come give me a kiss on the on the lips or on the <laughs> you know whatever you, whatever you need to do because I, I need to feel that love but um but, but but um seriously thank god you're all here because we finally did it I'm so proud of their efforts and achievements and endurance and to watch our son Matt grow into an independent, responsible and happy man. With Caitlin by his side supporting his every move, I've been very blessed to witness all of this and now we are here at our, their finest moment, Matt and Caitlin's wedding day. We're here. Wow. We all know love, I think, when we see it. And we could see today during the marriage ceremony and even now and for the last 10 years that that's what we've got here, is love between these two. You have known each other since that very first train ride over 10 years ago to this very moment of commitment. And although you fell in love by chance, you are here today by choice to make promises to each other that will guide you through your lives together.
looking at each other, just having a casual chat. It's so candid. <laughs> You're, you're two people in the world. But now, you're the world to one person. You are. You sharks. I can't see, so maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Every single day, you show me what authentic, raw love and commitment looks like. It was 2011 when we had our first ice cream date and your charm, humour and perfect bear hugs have never changed. I didn't know how much I needed you then, but what I would learn is how much I needed you for life. <laughs> for the last 11 years, you've been my best friend, my motivation, my happiness, my greatest support, and my greatest challenge. But most importantly, you are the love of my life, and you make me happier than I could ever imagine, and more loved than I ever thought possible. Thanks for giving us, man. Honestly, like you poured him up and shaped him into a, an excellent human being. We could not wish for a better fella for Caitlin. He's the first person to raise his hand and offer help to those who need it, and it doesn't even matter what the situation is. Without fail, he's always the friendly bloke who you might have bought a coffee from at any of the 27 cafes in Glenbrook that he's worked out <laughs> through his life. And even through the shittest day, he has a big smile and a greeting for you and generally wants to know what's happening in your life and cares for each and every single person. Um, to say that our beautiful, intelligent, determined, overachieving daughter makes us proud always would be to understate the unconditional uh, love that a mum and I feel for her every single day. Now, even though I'm the younger sister, I've had the absolute privilege of watching her grow to my go-to gal. You are the most driven, intelligent and beautiful person and I am truly, truly blessed not only to call you my sister, but my best friend. for your patience, your encouragement, and your passion. I promise to walk by your side forever and to love, help, and encourage you in all that you do. Thank you for your love when I am most fragile. <laughs> Thank you for your love even when I spill my smoothie. <laughs> I see these vows not as promises, but as privileges. I get to laugh with you and cry with you, care for you and share with you for the rest of our lives. For a decade, we have weathered storms and you make everything feel like sunshine when the rain has stopped. <laughs> I'm so glad that our two and a half year storm has ended today. I'm so ready to feel that sunlight with you again. I actually forgot to change.
changed them for a little while. Are you, are you playing with the ruler? I, the fact that I'm literally playing with these mullet <laughs> is hilarious. <laughs> it's everything I wanted to do and more. Don't hide that we're from Penrith. I'm not. I am not. I think by this point. You make me a better person and as we continue to grow together, each day I feel stronger and more proud of the life we have created and will continue to create and grow together. I love you. I promise to keep loving you always, to keep saying yes to adventure. And I promise to face every challenge we come across right by your side. Maddie, you are my best friend, my home, my anchor. I love you so much and I'm so proud to be your mum. <laughs> They say that having somewhere to go is home, having someone to love is family, and having both is a blessing. Caitlin and Matt, today you are supported by your family and friends who wish you every happiness in your future together. It gives me the greatest pleasure to finally pronounce you husband and wife. Matt, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Holy fuck! This has been gnarly, dudes. Man, um, we have come a long way. This is three years or what in the making, and it's um, really, really huge to see all our, our friends and our family here. It's, it's pretty surreal and it's hard. I, like, I want to, but I can't look at any of these in the eyes because I just cry. Please help me to congratulate the newly married couple, Mr. and Mrs. Brandon. evident how happy you two have made each other over the last decade and never more apparent than standing here looking at you both on your wedding day. I don't think anyone could argue that you guys are goals as a couple and a force not to be reckoned with. You've achieved some amazing milestones, created a dream life with each other and overcome some enormous obstacles. Caitlin, I am honoured to be your mother-in-law and I welcome you to our family with all my heart. <laughs> and may you both enjoy all of the happiness in the world together. So now I ask everybody to raise their glasses. Yeah, Cheers to Caitlin and Matt. <laughs> together you two are absolutely unstoppable and I simply cannot wait to watch you guys grow together more than you already have in the last 11 years. I love you both with all my heart. So let's raise it one more time. <laughs>